Just want to put you behind the wagon, away from further danger. Mashka! Stand still, for God's sake. Oh, they managed to surround me. I'm not gonna give up so easy. Dang it! Fainted. Hey! Excuse me! Sir? The three of them have gone. I hope they didn't hand them the skull. No, I just scared them away with some shots. Here's the darn thing. They'll never take it away from me now that I'm so, uh, so close. So close to what? To the Tartek treasure. Oh, look at this skull. It's pure gold. There are another two just like it. Is it really gold? Haven't you ever heard of them? Oh, come on. Give it back. Haven't I ever heard of who? Of the three skulls for crying out loud. No. Not until now. Don't you want to be rich? Who wouldn't? We could make a fortune by selling these skulls. I see you lack vision. The skulls are worthless compared to the lost tall tech treasure. They are the key to finding the treasure. So where are the other two skulls? Not far away. One of them is nearby. In a monastery. Under the protection of a brother Anselmo. The other... It's protected by the Apache. Be careful, especially with a so-called LeConte character. He's the one who sent One-Eyed Dixon and his fellows to rob me. LeConte is the colonel in charge of Fort Apache. There seem to be a lot of people involved. It's been years since the three skulls have been so close together. There's never been so much interest in them. I could find the missing skulls. If you could cut me in somehow. Oh, I've had quite a few partners, but they've all died from indigestion. I am a peddler. I have a fabulous hair lotion and a great elixir. Maybe you should have a drink in order to recover. Oh, that's a good idea. Hand me a bottle, will you? Is it working? Dim wet. Oh. Given me that hair lotion. Well, you did ask me for a bottle. I didn't know it was the wrong one. Well, I'd better get out of here before those guys come back. Better not forget the skull, though. Get the skull. He doesn't need it anymore. Look. Dex, it's pure gold. Let's see. Hand it over. Uh -uh, I found it first. And I'm the boss. Hand that over. How much will the payers for that? A lot. He says that it's of great sentimental value to him. <laughs> Brother 
San Salmo. It looks like that old peddler's wagon. Darn that man. Let's see. Oh dear. We'll have to be careful. They stole the skull from this idiot. They also killed him, Brother Anselmo. Don't bore me with insignificant details, Brother Fatty. And don't start with the professional ethics stuff, either. All I'm saying is that somebody should bury this man. Christian charity is always required to some degree. Don't you understand that we have no time for that? I'm in no hurry. You're never in a hurry, brother. Except when the dinner bell rings. Brother Anselmo, don't even mention food. Oh, sorry, I forgot about your abstinence from food, Bob. Let's drop these discussions. Now we must... Bury this poor sinner. No. We will first look for the skull that was stolen from him, and then... Then we will bury the peddler? I think we should do that first. All right, Brother Fatty. Bury him. I'll wait for you in big time. All Brother Anselmo thinks about are those skulls. They will be our ruin. Oh, well, I suppose I'd better start digging. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my new Let's Play. My name is Sipiros and this is Three Skulls of the Toltecs, or Fenimore film or Three Skulls of the Toltecs. A point-and-click adventure game originally developed by Revistronic and published by Time Warner in 1996. This version that I'm playing though is a remastered version done by Casual Brothers Games and released on GOG in June 2019. And apparently the game got two sequels as well. Uh, some of you may, may remember that I had an online poll almost a month ago where you folks voted for the next adventure game for me to play next and, to my surprise, this one won. Didn't ex I didn't expect this one to win, to be honest with you. But you guys wanted it, you shall get it. And I apologize that I didn't, that I, that I didn't start this Let's Play earlier after the poll ended. I had some family commitments that I had to take care of and I also just recently upgraded my Windows 7 to 10. Yes, I was still using 7 just last week. I dislike change, okay? But I'm back on track now, and that's what matters. Anyway, back to this game. Never played or watched anyone play this one before, so this will be a blind let's play. And I must be honest, folks, after seeing that opening cinematic or cutscene, I am not impressed by how the game looks. With the enhanced graphics, anyway. It looks like the developers just added some artistic filter on the game to get rid of the pixelated look and call it a day. That's why I think I'll be switching between the enhanced and old graphics quite often in this playthrough. Hell, I may even just play with the old graphics if I, if I think it looks better. But that's my first thought of the game after that intro. Not impressed with the so-called enhanced graphics so far. But let's hope that the rest of the game will be better. And with that, without further ado, let's start our new treasure hunting adventure in the Wild West. So, at first I thought that the three skulls were the treasure that, that we are after in this game, but no. The three, the three skulls are the key to find the real treasure of the Toltecs. Okay, so... As you can see, we got... Open, close, pick up and give, use, move, talk, talk and look. Uh, commands here, so that, so that makes uh, 12 commands in total. I don't know what these arrows here are for. Maybe it's for the inventory. Speaking about the inventory, we don't have any items on us right now. And we have a map. And this is where we are, presumably. At the canyon. And his, his name was Buck. Okay. Anybody home? No, I think he's dead because you gave him the, what, what was it, hair lotion? Which was also poison at the same time and killed him. It'd be better in the shade. Well, I, I don't think he cares anymore at this point. Can I... I don't know, pick him up. I'd better not. 
Okay. Yeah, bushes, that's where we came from. Hmm, there's a donkey here. Sign that says Big Town. Big Town. Three miles. How do you say it says three miles? I don't see anything. Hey, donkey. Oh, we just... We just uh, jump on him and ride on him. Okay. So we could go to the path over here or to the canyon. I hope that the priest doesn't mind, or monk, even. Assuming that that donkey is the monk's. But actually, I didn't want to come here just yet. Uh, go on top of the don donkey, please. Let's go back. See if we can talk to the monk. Oh, we are, he comes here automatically. Okay. Let's see if we can... Is there anything in the cart? It's nothing but scrap. Okay, sure. Okay. And we got Friar Bacon. Uh, didn't the other monk call him uh, uh, Brother Fatty or something? <laughs> at, at first I thought that, that maybe Fatty was an insult, but maybe it's actual... But, but maybe it's this monk's actual name, Fatty, but I guess not. Friar Bacon. Okay, his name is not Fatty, but Bacon instead. That's so much better. Hi! What's the matter, brother? Uh... Ah, oh, <laughs> at first I, I, I was like, what the, what do you have A, B, C, D, and... Ah, but okay, these are options. What's a nice monk like you doing with a uh, pickaxe like that? Which order do you belong to? Where has Friar Anselmo gone? Where is your monastery? Well, I am going, brother. Well, might as well, might as well ask all of this, assuming that the game allows us... What's a nice monk like you doing with a pickaxe like that? I am giving a Christian burial to that corpse. May God take him to his bosom. To his bosom? Uh, okay. To which order do you belong? I belong to the order of the Capuchins. Capuchins, okay. Not so, I don't know if that's important or not, but let's try to remember that. Where is Friar Anselmo gone? He's gone to Big Town. He wants to deposit a relic at the bank. Relic at the bank, huh? That must be the... Is that the uh, golden skull? Uh, one of the gold skulls. And also, who was the one who shot us at the uh, during the cutscene? It, it wasn't the monks, was it? No, it, it can't be. Doesn't it seem strange to you, depositing relics at the bank? Well... It's only a bone from St. Auriferous. Okay, it's, it's only a bone. Or maybe he's maybe he is referring to the skull. Oh wait, no, it, it it can it can't be. Must be something else entirely. Where is your monastery? Not very far, but we have been expelled. Oh? How come? Who's expelled you from your monastery? The French. French, huh? Those damn Frenchmen. Why have the French expelled you? They say we support General Lardbelly. <laughs> Lardbelly, these names. Who is General Lardbelly? He's a very famous revolutionary. They say he's afraid of no one. And he is cruel and merciless. The French have been chasing him for months, but he keeps eluding them. Okay. So, we are in Arizona right now, if I'm not mistaken, right? Hmm, didn't, didn't know that, didn't know that Arizona used to have lots of French back in the, I think this is 1800, somewhere in the late 1800s. Maybe General Lardbelly is hidden in the monastery. Maybe General Lardbelly is hidden in the monastery, dressed as a monk. That is absolutely impossible. Hell, maybe this guy is General General a large berry, uh, large berry, large belly. Even, I mean, the name fits. Would be appropriate name for him. Is it difficult to infiltrate into the order? Is it that difficult to infiltrate into the order of the Capuchins? There, we all know each other. It would be impossible for an intruder to get between the two of us. Briar and Selmo and I know each other very well. I'm going, brother. God be with you, brother. Okay, I was just wondering that, that maybe we needed that pickaxe for something, but I guess we don't. 
and we can't go here. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think that Buck has anything on him. So I guess we can just go. So we could go to Big Town. But instead, let's go. Let's follow this path here. So are we going to. Uh, above the canyons? Hmm, look at these statues. Hmm, wow. Ah, looks like a Mexican and... Is it a French soldier? So, is this their... No, this can't be their monastery. They wouldn't have a soldier here to guard, to guard it, I don't think. So, what is this place? Howdy. Bonjour, mon ami! Of course, it's a French. I could tell immediately from from that very from that very fancy uniform. I would like to go in, please. That tobacco has the most delightful aroma. I think this sleepy Mexican is a rev revolutionary. Well, what is this place anyway? I sure would like to go in, please. I would like to let you in, Monsieur, but unfortunately, it is forbidden. This place has been taken over by the troops of His Most Magnificent Majesty. Emperor Maximilian of Mexico. Okay. Why have they taken over the monastery? Oh, wait, it this is a monastery? It was heaven for revolutionary scum. Apparently, oh, okay. General Lardbelly used this place as a hideout. Okay, so this is the monastery. Okay, it generally wasn't far away. Have they found General Lardbelly in the monastery? No. And we've searched everywhere for him. Sergeant Motte. Said he saw him escaping, dressed as a monk, but nobody believed him because he was drunk. Okay. Mm, that tobacco has the most delightful aroma. Yes, indeed. It's the smoothest tobacco I have ever smoked. Well, good for you. I sure would like one. I sure would like to try tobacco that smooth. I can recommend a couple of places. Well, they sell very good tobacco in the Rue Patatin and in the Boulevard Patatin, Paris. <laughs> Patatin. So, in France. I bet the tobacco from the Rue Patatin is the best. Yes, the best is from the Rue Patatin. Here, try it and you'll see. There we go. Oh, gee, Thank thanks you. very much. But don't smoke here, s'il vous plaît. We are not allowed to smoke with strangers. Mm, okay, but we got some tobacco. Okay, a whole sa uh, sack of it. Nice. Uh, can we talk Howdy. to some more? Bonjour, mon ami. So, I think this sleepy Mexican is a re revolutionary. I think this sleepy Mexican is a revolutionary. Of course he is. I've heard this fellow muttering in his sleep. Viva Juarez! Okay, so they know, but they don't seem to care too much. I'm sure the sleepy Mexican is a spy. No, mon dieu. How can he be a spy if he spends all his time asleep? Okay. See you soon. Au revoir, mon ami. Well, that's a that's a fair point. He can't he can't really do that much spying if he is having a, a siesta all the time. Can we wake him up? They're not listening. Can I uh So I can? They're not listening. That's not gonna work. Well, shit. That's not gonna work. Hmm, okay. Can we go over... No, we can't go over there. Actually, at this point, let's take a look at the old graphics. Whoa. Damn, it's so pixelated. I can barely... Oh, I was about to say that I could barely even get a... Get a clear look at this guard's face with these graphics. But let's go with this for a little while. 
I mean, even if the cutscenes didn't look that impressive, and actually at, at parts it looked very bad to me anyway, but maybe the enhanced, but maybe the actual, into the actual gameplay, the enhanced, the enhanced graphics are, are, over, are better overall. I wish that, the, wish that this donkey was a bit faster though. Also, the animation is pretty lazily done uh, when, when, when it comes to when it comes to the donkey uh, hopping around. But yeah, let's go to Big Town. I don't think, think that there's any reason for us to stay here. All right. So, hmm, is that a parking sign? It's a parking sign. Yeah, I, I, I was right. There's a smithy there. Now let's just go inside here. This is the stables, I guess. Look around. Uh, wagon wheel. I've often wondered, during times of fleeting thought, who actually invented the wheel? Mm, that is a good question. Not sure where wheel was invented first. It's full of twisted screws. Oh. Dang, there's only one that's any good. I could use this to fix something. Hmm, nice. I was thinking that maybe that do we need to fix the uh, wagons with this wheel? But then again, why would we want to do that? And what's up here? The sign is there. A window. The rolling Arizona plains, sweeping herds of buffalo, the occasional 7-Eleven convenience store, and ride-by shootings. Mm -hmm. No, they didn't seem to have anything interesting up there. But hey, we could uh, a nail or screw even. Okay, well let's. So let's let's go back. Let's go go to town and do some more exploring. Okay, this looks pretty bad. I'm not gonna lie. The old graphics, that is. Okay, so we have a bank there, of course. Every wild western town must have a bank and general store. And there's a saloon, of course. No Wild Western video game is complete without a saloon. Big saloon. So not just any saloon. Big saloon. A barber shop. So there's an old lady. Some layabout. A young lady. A horse there. Well, let's go to... By the way, do we even have a gun? I mean, we did have... Okay, he seems to be having two revolvers on him. Okay. But we can't use them as items. That's that, uh, that's kind of, that's kind of pity. He and he had a rifle as well, but we don't have that right now, I don't think. Shame that you can't use uh your guns. At least it looks at least that's what it looks like so far. A uh, shopkeeper. So what do we have here? Got some apples, garlic, fish, carrots. So he basically just sells food here for the most part. Okay, what do we have here? We got biscuits, coffee, tomatoes, cigars, sugar, pretty much everything. Well, let's talk to him. Maybe learn more about this town. If apples were like hmm? that, there would have been no original sin. Okay, I, I think he basically said that, that that these apples look bad, maybe even rotten. And yet he and yet he eats one. <laughs> A green one, even though they're all red. Okay, let's talk to the shopkeeper. Uh shopkeeper, please. Oh god damn it, I didn't want to leave. Talk to the shopkeeper, please. I'll just wait. Howdy. Can I be of service? 
Well, let's see. I would like to buy something. My name is Fenimore Fillmore. My name is Fenimore Fillmore. I'm Bobby the shopkeeper. Bobby the shopkeeper, okay. Do we even have money? Well, I'd like to buy something. Could you be a bit more specific? Okay, so... How much do the cookies cost? One of those cigars? Carrot? Hmm, something tells me, tells me that maybe we need to find... Maybe we need to buy some cigars for the French guard so we can make him uh, try them or something. And then somehow infiltrate inside the monastery without him noticing or something, I don't know. That's just, that's just the first idea that came to my mind. I want one of those cigars. The cigars are end-of-line promotion. They're individually rolled by the Punani tribe from the swamps of darkest Peru. Go ahead and take one. They're free. Oh, nice. So where are they? Where are they again? Cigars, yeah, there. Okay, pick up some cigars. Nice. What is that? <laughs> and that, that that looked like blood to me or, or, or something at, at, at first. And it, it actually kind of looks like one of those handy Swiss army knives at first. And a cigar, but eh, whatever. Uh, can we buy something else? You would think that we can get those apples for free if they look so terrible. Howdy. Can I be of service? Okay. Well, I'd like to buy something. Could you be a bit more specific? Let's see. Hmm. How much does a coffee cost? Carrot? Cookies? You would think that we would need a carrot to... Uh, for a horse or even a donkey or something. Just a wild guess. I'd like a carrot, please. I'm afraid they're a dollar each, sir. That's way too expensive. A dollar each? Jesus Christ! One dollar, one whole dollar for our, for one carrot. I mean, I, I, I know, I know that that that, that in today's standards, maybe one dollar doesn't really sound like much, but back in those days, one dollar was, was a uh, was a lot more valuable. Even I know that much. But yeah, we don't even have any money anyway on us. I don't think so. At least I don't see any. Coin purses or anything in our inventory. Speaking about money, let's see if we have an have an have an an account. So difficult word to pronounce sometimes. Let's see if we have an an account yeah, over here in this town. Hmm. Well, they are nicely prepared for yeah. In, in case some in case some fool tries to rob rob the bank. I mean, look at look at the size of that freaking gun. Okay, well, I guess we can. I guess the only thing that we can that we can do here is to talk to this cashier. Hey, come to this counter. Okay. Hello. What do you want? Let's see. What options do we have? I would like to check my account. I'm looking for a guy by the name of Friar Anselmo. That's the that's other priest, a uh, priest, monk even. I want to open an account. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the assumption that we don't have an uh, we don't have an an account here yet. I want to open an account. Your name? Mm, Fenimore Fillmore, Abraham Lincoln, Dave, David Rockefeller, Doctor Hengelhofer. I don't know if Heng I don't know Hengelhofer, but I do recognize these two names, obviously. Fenimore Fillmore, profession? Millionaire, I hoped. Locksmith, what does it matter? What does it matter to you? Look, if you don't tell me what your profession is, I shall have to make one up for you. What kind of a job can you see me doing? Locksmith. Address? <laughs> okay, so he picked locksmith anyway. Main Street, Big Town, Peking, Japan. Uh, I think that he's confusing the cities and countries together. That's where, that's where, that's where I can be found. <laughs> that's where I can be found. That is, in a saloon bar during working hours and in a prison cell at night. Are you saying I'm a drunk? Obviously. Right. You'll get your ticket in a week. But I need it now. And I need a drink. <laughs> okay, so... Hello. What do you want, Mr. Fillmore? Okay, so... So I really have to wait for a week. I'd like to check my account. Please show me your ticket. 
Oh dear, oh dear, I don't have it on me. I have lost it, I haven't received it yet. I don't have it on me, I must have left it in my other trousers. Oh dear, I don't have it on me, I, I must have left it in my other trousers. Sorry, no ticket, no service. It's for security, see? Okay, fine. Hello, what do you want, Mr. Fillmore? Anything else? <laughs> Maybe I should have actually said uh, Abraham Lincoln or Rocket Rockefeller, and 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 see and see if he would have uh, fallen for it. Okay, so I'm looking for this guy named Friar uh, Anselmo. I'm looking for a guy named of Friar Anselmo. Friar Anselmo from the Twisted Tower, the one who has a gold skull. Yes, yes, yes. He's my big brother. Yeah, that one. Well, let's... Mm, yeah, that one. Yes, that one. I'm sorry, I can only give information to close relatives. Close re relatives, you say, huh? Well, in that Hello. case... Hello, what do you want, Mr. Fillmore? About Friar Anselmo. The one with the gold skull? Mm, yep. Uh, has he told you about the gold skulls? I, too, have a golden skull. I uh, know, we lost it, I think. The skull what? The skull that was deposit is mine. How d mm, did would he really have deposit uh, deposited something so valuable in in a bank? Not sure, but he told you about it. Has he told you about the gold skulls? No, we only talked about women and whiskey. Ah. Ah. Hello. What do you want, Mister Fillmore? I want to know where he is. About Friar Anselmo. The one with the gold skull? Yes, the very same one. Has he deposited it here? The skull that was deposited is mine. So what? I want you to give it back to me. I'm sorry, but we cannot get involved in domestic problems. It's Bank Regulation 1025. Okay, fine. Hello, what do you want, Mr. Fillmore? I, I'm i trying to tell you that I'm his, that he's my big brother or what, or something like that. I was only looking... About Friar Anselmo. The one with the gold skull? Yes, the very I same. I too have a golden skull. That is impossible. According to Friar Anselmo, the gold skull deposited in my bank is the only one in existence. And a friar never lies. Is but that so? But your gold skull must be a cheap imitation. Hey, I... Nevertheless, this bank will accept it. We oh, do not object nice. to forged merchandise. Okay, but we don't have it. We just don't have it. Not a real one or a forgery. Hello, what do you want, Mr. Fillmore? Okay, uh... I was only looking. Okay, fine. I guess we can't tell him that he that, he, that he's, he's our big brother or something. Armored bladed door. Well, it, well it, it'll be a bitch to try and open this. Without dynamite. Okay, let's switch back to the enhanced graphics, at least uh, for the rest of this episode. Yeah, this looks looks a lot better. Even the animation is a bit smoother. I was actually a bit worried when I first saw the saw the trailer. the The animation in the game looked so blurred in the trailer, so I was a bit wor worried about that. But no, they. They seem very, they seem very smooth and uh, and uh, and a lot sharper in the actual game. So so that's a relief. I'm gonna save the big saloon for last, maybe for the next episode, possibly. So let's go. So let's try and get to the. Well, looks like we can't enter the barber shop itself. But let's talk to talk to this old lady here. Howdy, Grandma. Howdy, Sonny. You remind me of my grandmother. What are you mending? Do you work at the barbers? Do you work at the barbers? Yes, but I don't shave anyone since I accidentally cut Ed Hengelhofer's throat in 1823. Well, that damn. wouldn't be Dr. Hengelhofer. Yeah, that's it? one. That was the father of Dr. Hengelhofer, who wrote his first manual as a result of the accident. Learn to shave in 10 easy lessons. Hmm, okay. Howdy, Grandma. Howdy, Sonny. You remind me of my grandmother. I see. Your grandma was an old lady. She used to darn your socks. She had a rocking chair. 
She used to like to talk about the possibility of life on other planets. She married a dentist when she was 21, and finally, she was from Tallahassee. Uh, okay. Howdy, Grandma. Howdy, Sonny. Okay, so what are you mending? What are you mending? My son's Sunday shirt. Tell him to fetch me some thread. Uh, okay. But I don't know... I don't know your son or where he is. I'll tell him to come if I see him. So, uh, who is he and where is he? But I don't know your son. His name is Bobby. Bobby? The grocery store shopkeeper? Or general store shopkeeper? Or was it Bob? Bob, Bobby, could be the same person. So let's see. Talk to the shopkeeper, please. Now talk to him. Talk to him, dammit. Why is it so damn hard? Stop moving. Howdy. Can I be of service? Yes, I would like to buy something. Your mother's calling you, uh, Bobby. Your mother's calling you, Bobby? Okay, I'll go see what she wants. Okay, so he's gone. So I could potentially steal something from here. But what do we want? What do we want? Cigars, we already got one. Uh, biscuits, sugar. What are these? Knives? Tomatoes, coffee, uh, I don't know, try to pick up some coffee, I suppose. Where was it? There we go. Oh, we got coffee beans. Okay. Yeah, uh, let's just try and steal everything, I suppose. Some of these items are, some of these items are bound to be useful at some point. And pick up some tomatoes. Mm, exquisite. Exquisite. Mm, sugar. Okay, so so this is what the arrows um, arrows are for. I knew it. Will you pick up the one of the apples? Let's just leave it where it is. Okay. Doesn't want the apples. They are way too rotten. Let's just leave it where it is. And he doesn't like garlic either, either apparently. How about fish? Let's just leave it where it is. Mm, okay, fine. How about carrots? There we go. Mm, they are so damn red. Mm, milk? Let's just leave it where it is. Okay, fine. Anything else here? Anything else that we could use? Can we pick up more uh, cigars? We only got one. One's enough for me. Okay, good to know. Alright, and now let's just leave before the shopkeeper is back. Perfect crime. What is this box? Hmm. Is there anything in there? I'm looking at something inside. What is it? Ah, locks. Okay, we can possibly burn them at some point later. Picktown Station. Ah, I, I see. Railway. Water tank. And what else we have? Trolley. Can we use it now? Apparently so. It doesn't work. Okay, never mind. It doesn't work yet. And levers. Uh, these levers must uh, uh, must be the one that rotates the uh, the rails, the rail railway railway tracks. Howdy! Howdy to you too, telegraphist. What do we have here? A very wide ranging library. Okay, it's just a window and nothing interesting on the table. Okay, there is some equip uh, equipment here. What kind of equip this equipment? This thing to me, Bob, is capable of mobilizing an army. Is that so? Howdy. Hi. Listen, are you deaf? Is there anybody in there? Hello, young man. So, when is the next uh, train due? 
I want to send a tele you know, telegram. Who are you in communication with by telegraph? What happened to the trolley thing outside? You're as deaf as a doorpost. Well, what, what happened to that trolley thingy outside? What happened to the trolley thing outside? You must have a screw loose, my boy. What happened to the trolley <laughs> thing outside? That old crock has a screw loose, too. I sent it to the workshops in Germany six months ago, but nothing. You had to send it all the way to Germany? Well, damn. Okay, but hey, we do, ha we do have a screw. So, who are you in communication with? Who are you in communication with by telegraph? Of course, there isn't time to wait for anything else. I knew it immediately. It was obvious. Naturally, <laughs> you could see it coming, and I almost... I asked who you were telegraphing all the time. Ah, well, I'm playing chess with the train driver in Fort Apache. <laughs> okay. Okay, when is the next train coming? When is the next train due? I understand, but don't worry. Just go around to the back of the station. When is the next train due? And the next train? When the signal turns green and I get a telegraphed order. Mm, okay. I want to send a telegram. That's cheeky. You shouldn't say things like that. That's disgusting. I <laughs> want to send a telegram. No, sir. I refuse to telegraph rude messages. I'll <laughs> change the text. Okay. Don't shout. I'm not that deaf. <laughs> okay. Dear mother, uh, Colin, I have, wa I have won a fortune. Stop. Dr. Engelhofer, Colin, I have followed your instructions. Stop. Uncle Gilbert, uh, Colin, congratulations on your 99th birthday. Stop. <laughs> Gilbert, I wonder if that's a reference to Ron Gilbert. Engineer Colin, start the train. Stop. Okay, this must become important to, uh, to some puzzle later on, So, I, but I have no idea what kind of message I'm supposed to send. Well, let's just send a telegram to our mother, I suppose. Dear mother, colon. I've won a fortune. Stop. Send me a couple of dollars. Stop. That would be nice. Your loving son. Stop. I didn't know you were a representative of Rothschild's bank. I'll <laughs> send your telegram to the head office in New York. Uh, okay. You're as deaf as a door, a door post. You're as deaf as a door post. They all say that, but don't believe it, my boy. Ooh, I look a lot like him, but I cannot play the violin like he does. Do you mind if I leave? Of course, my boy. You can stay as long as you like. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now let's see if I can use the screw with this trolley here. Just like this. Or do I need a tool of some kind? Well, I guess not. Okay. So that uh, supposedly works now. But there's one more building that that I want to check out real quick. So let's go... Actually, no, let's talk to this layabout guy first. You can't come in, stranger. What? Why not? I want to come in. What are you smoking? It's a nice day, isn't it? Why can't I come in? Yeah, I want to go in. I want to come in. Sorry, this bar is for real men only, baby face. Real man only. Watch it, buddy. I'm a highly dangerous man to upset. Yeah, my, and we got even two revolvers. Who's going to stop me? Are you showing off in front of that young lady? Hmm. Watch it, buddy. I'm a highly dangerous man to upset. <laughs> yeah, sure. I have, es I have escaped from the state penny penitentiary. I've destroyed whole villages, single-handed. I'm the bowling champion of uh, Connecticut. God damn it. <laughs> how, do you, how, how did you spell that? Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we have, we have destroyed some villages, or uh, let's say this. I've escaped from the state penitentiary. Penitentiary, you know that's how spell it. cousin Irwin? He's in the state pen. Erwin, the notorious killer? Of course I know him. He was my cellmate. Sure, he's a little good-for-nothing nobody dwarf character that I beat up real good. Sure. 
He's that little good-for-nothing nobody twerp character that I beat up real good. Hey, not many can say they beat Irwin Smith in a fight. I guess I'll have to let you pass. Oh, hi, he bought it. That was easy. It's so quiet in here. Where's the damn music? Where are the dancing girls? Where are the showgirls? Okay, so we got a simple drunkard here. A sheriff, judging from that star. A thug, and of course the barman. But apparently we can't go upstairs. Okay, well... Let's talk to these, uh, some of these guys, I suppose. So actually, actually no, I'm going to save that for the next episode. So I'm going to end this one here. And in the next episode, well, let's talk to all of these people, uh, explore the explore the saloon some more. Although it doesn't look like that, like I said, that we can't go upstairs or even to the backstage room over there or anywhere else for that matter. So once we are done done with this place, let's see if that if the what was it called? The trolley thingy that we use, that we fixed with the screw. Uh, so let's see if that works so we can go to somewhere else. Or we, expl or, or we explore the town some more. Although, although I don't think that there's any other places where we can go. Unless I have missed something. But hey, we'll see in the next episode. So, until then. Thank you for watching and see you next time for more Three Skulls of the Toltecs.